I remember beginning a sermon many, many, many years ago now from that old song that we love, Give Me That Old Time Religion. And I remember in the middle of it, it was good for my dear mother, therefore it is good enough for, and I stopped because I wasn't ready to go forward saying that it was good enough for me. Because there was a religion of compensation which said that if you didn't get your reward down here, and we were suffering down here, that you would get your reward by and by. But it was my labor, it was my work, it was my brain power, it was my nursing of the children, it was my tilling of the soil, it was my saving of the agriculture, it was my creativity, Kuumba. It was my creativity that gave America all that it has. Somebody referenced us as salt. Why? Because we add flavor. So uh, why did I have to wait to get my reward? What was it about this mythology, what was it about this theology that said I had to wait till I got to heaven before I could enjoy? So we, we did. We embraced it. I got shoes. You got shoes. All God children got shoes. When we get to heaven, everybody else wearing shoes down here. You know, I got a robe, you got a robe, all God's children got, but when we get to heaven, we're going to put up. Why I got to wait? I'm naked, it's cold. I'm out here picking cotton. Why do I have to wait? Do I get that? It was a religion of compensation because we were catching nothing but hell down here. And once our minds were set free, be ye transformed, by the renewing of your mind. Once our minds were set free, once we could think for ourselves, Kuji Shakalia, to determine for yourself, once we could begin to put certain pieces together, we were able to eke out uh, an existence and define a, a culture. And we were able to move forward primarily through our faith in God. It wasn't the same faith that the white man was talking about in his churches. It couldn't be. You brought me over on a ship named Jesus. There's some problem here. And when I am given the opportunity to think about it, uh, I, and I can think for myself, and I'm not a damn fool. What do you think I am? You don't think that I can see and understand for myself the chicanery and the trickery that you're pulling on me? And once I begin to think for myself and invest myself, and it comes primarily through our faith, through our faith, through our faith in God, through Christ. 